query based reports so let me add report here new it's very simple I should have started it with this new item reports report ANJ and AOT query query based report underscore one just added a report just see how simple it is the report has been added now new data set in this data set go to the properties then here in case of data provider uh, report you see here we'll select data provider now we are simply selecting query itself now just in the in the click it it shows all the queries because this you have selected query if you selected DP it will select all the DPs now let me go to the cast table Cast invoice, cast URST. We should have that. Cast. Custable query. We have a query with the name as Custable. Then selecting it next. Then it shows all the fields. Now you choose whichever field you want. Let us wait for it. <coughs> I could have explained this in the beginning but you might be getting the question like okay when the query based query is a query based report is already existing why taking trouble uh, in creating the same reports in the, uh, in the other reports the, here the objective is to make you understand Yeah, here all fields there will be many fields these many fields we have and with some selecting all fields that's it that's it now we can create the design precision design opening it and it shows the des designer then go to the report data and then data sets you have all these here cast account number let me insert new table it's as simple as dragging and dropping the fields here mm. 
line description or anything whichever has some data credit max something okay anything you wanted to show in the report just add them here that's it just build it and then deploy it seems it is still building now just deploy the reports deployment should be finished the deployment is finished now like every other report you just have to create menu item display menu uh, display menu item add new item out is here display menu item 2 object type ssrs report then select the object anj and then open the drop down anj query based report 1 as soon as you select it the design is also selected now one more step is pending that is adding this uh, to let me give the label as well and one more thing is one more thing is pending that is menu extension we have to add this display menu to to the account payable and ours and then display menu item display menu item to drag and drop it came at the end now just build it you might be asking here and in the earlier cases we are filtering the data based on filtering the data based on the user input then what do we show here without filtering and everything so here we show everything all the data in the gas table will show let us see that still loading
So, <clears throat> so. let's go to the account payable and you would see query based report and if you click it there is no input nothing it shows directly why query based report oh, it might have it might be taking okay okay the query itself is asking for that uh, parameter query might have add that uh, Okay, let's not give anything here. Let's see. Parameter customer account. Did we did we give the proper report name? Or else what I'm suspecting might be right. That is With properties this query based report one why it is not the, yeah the the reason could be the query is accepting a parameter that is why it is showing that and it took yeah, this is not something we have uh, provided the query might be having a parameter that's why it is showing that okay let's let's give it try and cl i just clicked on okay Yeah, the contract was linked, but it is showing all the account numbers for this project. Somehow that contract is interfering with this query report, but we have seen how to create a query based report. In query based report, we don't have any classes, nothing, nothing. You will simply have a query in the AOT and a menu item to trigger that that's it